Welcome! Today, we'll be going through question 1 from the European Girls Maths Olympiad 2019. Find all triples A, B and C of real numbers such that AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 1 and A squared B plus C is equal to B squared C plus A is equal to C squared A plus B. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Use the fact that AB plus BC plus CA is equal to one and not some other constant. What is special about one? Hint number two. So, because AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 1, A squared B plus C multiplied by AB plus BC plus CA is equal to B squared C plus A multiplied by AB plus BC plus CA. Try expanding and simplifying this equation. Repeat this with all the other equations and see how you can go on from there. Hint number three. At some point, you may get the three equations C multiplied by A plus B is equal to A squared plus B squared. B multiplied by A plus C is equal to A squared plus C squared. And A multiplied by B plus C is equal to B squared plus C squared. Try adding the three equations together and rearrange them to get a sum of three squares. The fact that squares are non-negative will be very useful in this instance. Solution. So we begin by noticing that because AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 1, A squared B plus C multiplied by AB plus BC plus CA is equal to B squared C plus A multiplied by AB plus BC plus C A is equal to C squared A plus B multiplied by A B plus B C plus C A. We will begin by taking A squared B plus C multiplied by A B plus B C plus C A is equal to B squared C plus A multiplied by A B plus B C plus C A and we'll expand and simplify to get B C squared plus C squared A is equal to B squared C plus A squared C. Now we can factorize this to get c squared multiplied by a plus b is equal to c multiplied by a squared plus b squared. In a similar fashion, we will get b squared multiplied by a plus c is equal to b multiplied by a squared plus c squared and a squared multiplied by b plus c is equal to a multiplied by b squared plus c squared. Now, we would like to divide the three equations by C, B and A, respectively. But we cannot divide by zero. So we first begin by taking that into account and by looking at when sum of A, B and C are equal to zero. Now, because of the symmetry of the problem, without loss of generality, we can take C equal to zero. Then what we get is a squared b plus c equal to b squared c plus a equal to c squared a plus b simplifies to a squared b equal to a equal to b. And from ab plus bc plus ca equal to 1, we get ab equal to 1. So none of a and b are equal to 0. And so at most, one of abc is equal to 0. And in fact, because a is equal to b, ab could be 1, 1 or minus 1, minus 1. So 1, 1, 0 and minus 1, minus 1, 0 and all their permutations are all solutions to the equations. So now we can move on to look at when a, b and c are non-zero. And so we can divide by a, b and c. And so we can divide 
c squared multiplied by a plus b equal to c multiplied by a squared plus b squared by c to get c multiplied by a plus b equals a squared plus b squared. We will repeat the process with the two other equations to get b multiplied by a plus c equals a squared plus c squared and a multiplied by b plus c equals b squared plus c squared. Now, what we can notice is that the terms in all of these equations are those of a plus b squared or a minus b squared. So we can try to add the three equations together and see if we can factorize in some way. And so what we get is 2 multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to 2 multiplied by ab plus bc plus ac. And we can take the right hand side to the left hand side to get 2 multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus 2 multiplied by ab plus bc plus ac is equal to 0. Now we can factorize a squared minus 2ab plus b squared as a minus b squared. We can factorize b squared minus 2bc plus c squared as b minus c squared. And we can factorize the final a squared plus c squared minus 2ac as a minus b squared. And so we can rewrite the equation as a minus b squared plus b minus c squared plus a minus c squared equal to zero. Now, this is very useful because we know that squares are non-negative. And so the sum of three squares is also non-negative. And so what we get for the left-hand side to be equal to zero is that all the squares must equal zero. In other words, a equals b, b must equal c, and a must equal c. And so a equals b equals c. So ab plus bc plus ac equal to 1 simplifies to 3a squared equal to 1. And so a squared is equal to a third, and a equals b equals c is equal to plus minus 1 divided by the square root of 3. And hence the solutions are plus minus 1, plus minus 1, 0, and all its permutations, and plus minus 1 divided by the square root of 3, plus minus 1 divided by the square root of 3, and plus minus 1 divided by the square root of 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.